Now I give the floor to the distinguished representative of International Federation for Family Development. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, the priority theme for this commission is particularly important to ensure youth integration for sustainable development. It has become an increasingly common for young people older than 18 years old to remain at home, supported at least partially by their parents' payroll, especially while they're completing their studies. In fact, never have so many members of younger generations been so dependent on their parents and grandparents for so long. The International Federation for Family Development has been part of the largest integrating project of the European Union called Families and Societies. Policy, context, and diversity over the life course and across generations. The six million euros and four years long project has extended our knowledge on how policies promote well-being, inclusion, and sustainable societal development among families. Mr. Chairman, our, our Federation has been entrusted to disseminate the findings and policy recommendations at the United Nations and in particular during this Commission on Social Development. Many of the project recommendations focus on the vulnerable situation among family members and especially on the sense of uselessness and idleness that the inability to find employment creates among young people. This situation can lead to increased crime, mental health problems, violence, conflicts and drug taking. As education, poverty, and psychological bonds are dynamic phenomena with a strong international effects, failure to act now jeopardizes the social integration of future generations. In this regard, getting a job is the first step into social integration and poverty eradication. But there's also an increasing number of young people, often in emerging and developing countries, who live in poverty despite having a job. That is why a decent job is a necessary requirement and a key strategy for youth integration and poverty eradication. Not only by itself, but also as a starting point for being able to found a family and contribute to social development. To conclude, our Federation is committed to share best practices on building paths to social integration and poverty eradication for youth, incentivize an educational offer able to create decent job opportunities understand how the private sector can participate in the vocational training process, and find ways to engage youth in analysis and decision-making process. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank the representative of the International Federation for Family Development.